I'm Rhonda and this is my story. I became a Christian at an early age of seven when I was at camp and I knew that God loved me. But I didn't really know that God loved me. I tried to be good. I tried to be as good as I possibly could be. And so I um, listened to my parents, I obeyed, I did what I was supposed to do, and every time I made a mistake, I would stop and I would ask Jesus to come back into my life because I felt like I had lost that salvation. I had lost his love for me. And I kept trying and trying all through my youth to just try and be as good as I could be and I kept failing and I kept starting over and I kept failing and I was getting very, very discouraged. Anybody who knows me knows I'm a little stubborn. And so I continued to just try and do this on my own. It wasn't until I got into college that I started to re-examine my relationship with Christ. And I came to an understanding that God loved me for me. He loved me so much that he died for me. And it was then in college that I started to realize that there was nothing I could do to make God love me more. There was nothing I could do to make him love me less. He was always going to love me. And I learned that a relationship with Jesus was about grace. It was about um, building a relationship and getting to know him and striving to be more and more like him. I saw that Jesus was the answer to that relationship, that it was because Jesus died on the cross for me, that I was able to have a relationship. It's no longer based on works, but it was based on God's love for me and my obedience to him. My encouragement to you is God's love for you will never change. He's always going to love you. There's nothing you can do to make him love you more. There's nothing you can do to make him love you less. He will always love you. He wants to have that relationship with you. This is my story, and I'm here to testify that Jesus has made all 